Waddies. We talked about waddies uh, briefly at the beginning of the show and making uh, spaghetti toasties with cheese in the fire, fireplace when we were growing up. So waddies has been a staple of Kiwi mealtimes since its founder, Sir James Wattie, opened a canning factory in my hometown of Hastings back in 1934. In recognition of this long history, Wattie's is now bringing together the nation's favourite recipes and to celebrate, it's putting together a special edition cookbook. It's calling on the public, you guys, to submit your favourite recipe. Now, it could make it into the cookbook and then it gets sold in store on online in December this year. So whether it is your mum's spaghetti toasty like my mum used to do or your aunt self-sourcing pud or our own world, or the own world famous in New Zealand pom-pom pie, which I've never done yet, Waddies wants them all for their new recipe book. It can be a breakfast Recipe, lunch, dinner, dessert, or even just a snack. Just it has to feature a Waddies product, and there's so much out, so much Waddies products. The cookbook, like I said, feature 90 recipes, one for each year. It'll be a mix of favourites from their archives and recipes submitted from creative home cooks. And one woman that's entered her favourite recipe is Britt Cunningham. She's a Kiwi TikTok personality. She's whose home baking and cleaning videos have amassed more than 13 million likes. And she joins me now. Hello, Britt. Hi, Leah. How are you? I'm good. Hey, look, before we get on to um, what you've submitted for Watties, how the heck do you get... I mean, I watched a bit of you today and I must say there was something really soothing about watching you clean your house. <laughs> so how do you get 13 million likes? I mean, that's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, do you know, it's a surprise to me as well because when I started my TikTok, it was more just like a little personal outlet, a uh, little diary even, and I was surprised that so many people enjoy watching me do something so mundane. <laughs> but, you know, it's part of life and I enjoy it, so I'm happy about it. Because you, because today I watched, I uh, watched a few, but you were cleaning your house. What I like about Britt is she, you know, has a running commentary, doesn't care about the old f bomb, so that was quite fun. And um, and but I tell you what, I, I, it's spotless. I feel a bit. I need to step up my game, especially in the shower in the bathroom. You really have a spotless house. Have you always been like that? Is is it your thing? Yeah, it's an unfortunate trait that I inherited from my mother, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I think because I became a mum quite young and we didn't have a whole lot back then, but what I did have was elbow grease. And so it felt like a way that I could really kind of, you know, create a nice space for my kids who were little and on the floor. If, if I kept it clean, then I knew I was doing something. Yeah. And look, it's kind again, of like therapy to me as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just get out there and just do your thing, and and the house is clean, and you feel better. Um, I yeah. also, you're also on the latest season of Traitors with Paul Henry, so I know you can't really <laughs> say too much because, of course, it's playing. Um, are you even allowed to say you're a traitor or a faithful, or we're not even allowed? You can't even say anything. Just nothing. I can't say anything other than I'm on the show <laughs> <laughs> and you can watch it on 3 Now on Mondays and Tuesday go. nights. <laughs> is it quite, okay, you can tell me, is it quite a surreal though, quite a crazy thing that you've done? Oh, absolutely insane. Yeah, very much outside of my comfort zone. And like I say, cleaning is therapy and there wasn't spray and wipe in sight. So I had to <laughs> really sit in the discomfort of those emotions. And yeah, it was yeah. cool. It was um, much different to regular life. And so I'm pleased that I put myself out there and Sweet. tried something a bit different. Yeah. And Paul, when Paul Henry's a bit of a, he's a, he's a bit of a laugh. Paul's a, you know. I've known Paul for well, years. Well, not on the show though. He didn't break character oh. at all. He was oh. very immersed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I did get me. to meet him after at the premiere and actually meet who he is. And, yeah, he's lovely. Way different. <laughs> yeah, very so, different. <laughs> so, Britt, let's talk about um, Watties. And well, this is a great idea, celebrating 90 years, um, putting out a, a, a recipe book. So what, what did you make? Because I did watch it. It looks delicious. But what is it? I have made, well, I've paid homage to one of my late Nan's recipes. So I've made a rustic galette um, with feta, walnut, thyme and honey. Mm. Just tell us, what is a galette? 
A galette is like a free-form tart, so you can make it sweet or you can make it savoury. And what I love about that is you can put it together really quickly with kind of anything that you have on hand, and it doesn't take a whole lot of groundwork. You know, like often with dough, you have to wait around a lot or give it, make a mm. rise or a second rise. This one's just very simple. You can kind of be eating it within an hour or so. 